The moment that you were born again, the Holy Spirit of God came to live within you. Not a portion of the Holy Spirit, not a new convert version of the Holy Spirit, not a junior Holy Spirit, not a less potent Holy Spirit, but the same Holy Spirit who was in Christ Jesus himself came to dwell in you the moment you gave your heart to the Lord. What does the Bible say? In Ephesians 1.13, the scripture says, and when you believed in Christ, when? When you believed in Christ, he identified you as his own. How? By giving you the Holy Spirit whom he promised long ago. When did I receive the Holy Spirit? When I believed in Christ. So the moment you repented of your sins, the moment you turned to Jesus, the Holy Spirit of God came to dwell in you. This is why you're so frustrated. This is why you're seeking and not finding. Because you're looking for something as if you don't have it. You're looking outwardly instead of inwardly. You're looking at experience to validate a truth that you should already know by faith. Well, I never had that shaking of the electricity on my body. Well, I never felt the heat. I never broke down and cried. I never fell over. I haven't spoken in tongues yet. What does the Bible say? When you believed in Christ, he identified you as his own by giving you the Holy Spirit. So we have backwards thinking when it comes to receiving the Holy Spirit. We think that we get saved and then receive him, when in reality, you couldn't have been saved in the first place without him. The Holy Spirit comes to dwell in me in fullness the moment I give my heart to Jesus. As a believer, I am given the Holy Spirit to help me believe. As a person of faith, I'm given the Holy Spirit to help me have faith. And so what happens is we begin to compare our encounter with God with other people's encounters. And instead of looking at the scripture, we look at the experiences of others. And then the enemy, because we're not aware of the truth, begins to plant doubt. And we feel that God is neglecting us. We feel that God is ignoring our prayers. We become frustrated because we feel like no matter how much I ask him for the Holy Spirit, he doesn't give him to me. The reason you're not getting the Holy Spirit when you pray that prayer is because you already received the Holy Spirit when you believed. And once we become convinced of this truth, that every believer has the Holy Spirit, the natural question, then becomes, what is this other experience described in the scripture? What is this something more that believers talk about? What is this extra touch of power that I've heard so much about? Here's a question for you. You have the Holy Spirit but does the Holy Spirit have you? The Holy Spirit is all in. Are you? He's fully committed. He dwells inside of you. So you have the Holy Spirit, but it's in the surrendering to the Holy Spirit that what we have in us manifests around us. You already have your spiritual gift. You already have an anointing from on high. That's what 1 John 2, 27 says. You already have the ability to understand the word. You already have your preaching gift. You already have boldness for evangelism. You already know how to pray. But it's untapped power that rests within you. And the only way you tap into that power is by surrendering to the Holy Spirit in greater depths. 
For every level of surrender, there is a level of power that comes. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.